In this video, we're going to explore what happens when you bring Garrus and Liara along as squad mates during Priority Sirkesh in Mass Effect 3. Specifically, we'll be looking at unique dialogue that occurs during the mission with Rex, Major Kirihi, Morden, and some special lines that only appear if you completed Lair of the Shadow Broker in Mass Effect 2. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone? Big Dan here. Before we begin, you should know I have over 100 Mass Effect Trilogy videos on my channel, including hidden scenes, rare choices, lore videos, and guides. So if you want to see more Mass Effect, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. On the shuttle ride to the STG facility on Sir Kesh, Rex is feeling anxious about recovering the Krogan females. Liara reassures him before Garrus chimes in with some light banter with the head of Clan Erdnot. These females are the best and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. <coughs> <coughs> I suppose I can make room for you too, Garrus. <laughs> Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. After Rex's Krogan airdrop nearly causes a diplomatic incident, we have the opportunity to explore the lobby area, I guess you could call it that, of the STG base. During this time, we can speak to Rex, which leads to more great banter between three of our Mass Effect 1 squad mates. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> Besides, you'd think this is the kind of thing the Shadow Broker would have known about. Too bad I don't know him. Or her. I'm sure the Broker was very busy. I love that everyone seems to know that Liara is the Shadow Broker. It took her two years to discover the location of the previous broker, and no one knew he was a Yogg. Yet everyone and their uncle knows Liara is the broker. It's just funny to me. The archives. Or did your shadow broker miss that one? Show yourself. I promise I won't miss. When speaking about defending Tachanka against the Reapers, Liara will express her admiration for Rex. Back on the Normandy, he said Reapers were sighted on Tachanka. Clans Jorgal and Ravador sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. I would have thought back on Vermeyer we'd be standing here doing this together. Liara again chimes in when Rex explains how infertile Krogan women were used as decoys to bait against their enemies. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. What a horrible way to live. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. When Rex brings up the Rachni Wars, he teases Garrus about the lack of a Turian memorial statue on the Citadel. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. 
Just wait till this war is over. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. If Captain Kirahi survived the events on Vermeer in Mass Effect 1, he will also be here on Sirkesh with a fancy new promotion to Major. If you're unsure how to save Kirahi on Vermeer, then check out my video on the topic, which I'll link on the screen and in the description. After greeting Shepard, Kirahi will say hello to both Garrus and Liara, having recognized them from Vermeer as well. Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirahi. I'd heard you were coming. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. Yes, due in no small part to our mission on Vermeer. Hold the line. You saved my men that day. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. And same to you, Dr. Tassoni. Major. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. When you bring up Vermeer with Kirhi, the topic of Rex comes up. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Our colony's three systems away saw it. Yes, and he's rather angry about the security arrangements. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pay couldn't handle it. After you're done speaking with the Major, he tells Shepard that he will pitch in his support for the war effort. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. You'd do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. Good day. Kirahi is hereby recruited as a war asset worth 20 points. After getting clearance to go inside the facility, we meet up with Morden, and Garrus seems a little bit surprised that Morden came out of retirement to rejoin STG. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morden. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. But the reunion is short-lived, as soon after the lab is attacked by Cerberus. Shepard, Garrus, and Liara fight through the labs, while Morden escorts the female Krogan Eve through the security checkpoints. Rex also prepares to get to the extraction site. As we push our way through the labs, one of the Yogg specimens breaks out of captivity, taking out a few Cerberus troops along the way. If you completed Lair of the Shadow Broker in Mass Effect 2, Garrus and Shepard will crack a few jokes at Liara's expense. Careful. There goes the next Shadow Broker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. Not funny. If you didn't complete Lair of the Shadow Broker, then Garrus just says something to the effect of he must not have liked the food. Soon you'll link up with Major Kirihi again, who shows off his fancy handgun, prompting Garrus to wonder why he doesn't have one like Kirihi's. Is there an easier way around? You could say that. How do I not have one of those? After successfully extracting Eve and leaving Sir Kesh, we can speak to Rex further on the Normandy, giving our Krogan buddy the opportunity to have a just like old times moment with Shepard. Hell of a show down there on Sir Kesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. Rex goes on to tell Shepard about his missing Krogan scouts, who were investigating reports of Rachni activity. If you brought Rex to Novaria in Mass Effect 1, he will briefly mention it in this conversation. How could there be trouble with the Rachni? They were all but extinct. The last queen promised to disappear forever or be destroyed. I know, I was there. I've got a bad feeling about this. At the end of the conversation, Rex will mention he likes the upgraded Normandy. If you were in a relationship with Liara at some point, he'll also tease Shepard about her having better quarters than he did because of reasons. Hey Shepard, I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around the cargo bay before. 
I still don't have a window like Liara does, but maybe that's because I don't kiss as well. <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> I miss this place. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? This last bit of dialogue doesn't happen during Sir Cash, but I wanted to mention it nonetheless. Once Tally comes aboard the Normandy later in the game, you can overhear Garrus talking to her about Rex being on the ship earlier. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No. But there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. So there you have it. Getting the gang back together on Sir Kesh in Mass Effect 3. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go. Back on Sir Cash, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <sighs> then talk about it some more. Women have good ideas, Rex. You should listen. Yeah, but they have so many of them. So sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers too.